been absolutely beautiful, you guys. I can't believe it's come to an end. Um, you guys will always be in my heart. And uh, what can I say? Mamba out. All my haters be watching. They watching, they watching, they watching. They see the way I be popping. No stopping me. I'm turned up like a rocket. A rocket, a rocket, a rocket. Dripping like I'm a faucet. Got options. Damn. Tell them haters to watch it. Watch it. Sit in the front and talk shit that motivates me. YouTube. No, I'm talking about. We in it, man. This is probably going to be the hardest one for me to do this year. So, in fact, because I've been dreading it. I, I, I waited on purpose. I couldn't do it the day that, it, that the tragedy happened. I waited on purpose to do this because. Y'all don't understand how influential that man Kobe Bean Bryant was to me as a person. Um, besides my dad, besides my dad, he's probably the one person that I looked up to as a hero the most. On a simple fact, because. Like through it all. Like let's let's just break down his career. Um, when he first got in the league, I I watched him. You know what I'm saying be who he is, and um, I actually just thought at when he won the dunk contest in in '97. You know he came in the league '96 his rookie year, won the dunk contest the same rookie year, but '97. Since then, I've been like a super Kobe fanatic. But it was an interview that I saw that that had Kobe Bryant. It was like, um, I'm gonna outwork everybody. I'm gonna be the hardest worker you got. And a lot of times I didn't stick with that. But that's 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 the mentality that I've learned to have. That no matter what, I'm gonna outwork everybody. I'm gonna be my best. And it's, it's gonna be people that don't understand um, why am I not further along than I should be? Because they see how hard I work for what I want, and I'm telling you, I got that from that man. Um, it's hard because just like him, I created a kill list of people who I, I want to be better than, and not not because I just oh I just want to be better. It's just. Whenever somebody tell me that they better than me, you have to prove it to me. Whenever somebody else says that you better than me, I'm gonna have to prove it to them. But it's just the, the competitive spirit and everything I do, you have to have a mentality that no matter what, you're gonna win, you're not gonna quit. Even when the shot don't fall, you're gonna keep shooting. And I got that from him, like, pretty much the biggest part is to me, Besides, like I said, besides my pop, come from Kobe Bryant, and I, I see a lot of people as fans now just because he did, which is cool, man. Hey, you want to honor him while he did, but this just made me want to just give flowers to people while they live. This, as soon as it happened, all I could think about is the times me and my bro Mike, rest in peace, Mike, um, would go back and forth between. Who better, Kobe or LeBron? Now I could just think, hey, bro, ask him yourself when he get up there and we talk to him. And it, it's 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 hard, man, because anybody that know me know that's my favorite player. Period. No matter what sport, Kobe Bryant is my favorite player. I wouldn't let nobody tell me that he not the goat, regardless if you think Michael is or you think LeBron is, Kareem, anybody. I would let nobody tell me that Kobe Bryant. 
it's not the GOAT. Because to me, he's always been a GOAT. He, to me, he is my Michael Jordan because I literally watched from the start of his career to the end of his career. Like, he, he was he was the best at all he did from, think about his last game, 60 points. The last game of your career, you scored 60, that's unheard of. You set a record your last game. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? And then, also, off the court, he, he used that same mama mentality. He got an Oscar. And yeah, I think he retired. I think. No cool me on that, but I'm appreciative sure here. But it's, it's the simple thing. It's like working hard. Never stopping. Always going. Never quitting. Always doing what you want in life. Never stopping. So it's like growing up, I always looked up to him. Personally, I always wanted to be like him and my pop. So it's like it's hard for me to sit here and be like, oh, my mentality, and then just walk into a room every day and then realize he gone. It's it's hard. Like we just went through Mike passing, and then the person you look up to besides my pop is gone, and that's hard for me because I do everything that I do has that mentality of winner competitor nobody can stop you and the one person that you look up to the most besides my pop is gone so it's hard it's um i know it's gonna get better it gets easier like i, I didn't cry nothing it just it gets easier because i know more than anything he just wanted us the best version of myself, something that I teach my son. I look at it, I look at him and then I see the love and the passion in his eyes to want to win. You know what I'm saying? So the same thing I learned from Kobe and my pop to teach him that never give up and tell you no matter what. Nobody can stop you but you. You know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 amazing to me how I never got to meet him in person but how effective he was into me thinking that life is limitless. Just watching him and wanting to emulate what he did. Even if y'all say he got his moves from me, I don't care about none of that, man. He was literally my Michael Jordan. He was literally the best player I've ever seen play the game. There's nobody ever gonna be better than him in my eyes. So it's like, I just wanted to continue to work and be the best version of me. And, and I hope just a little bit when I leave this earth, um, I'm still a living legend. And I say that because even though he died, his legacy still lives on. So to me, he still forever lives. He's gonna live through anybody that believed in anything that he did. And even through what made him like my favorite player because he obviously had flaws and pushed through it all. The scandal in Colorado, pushed through it. When him and Shaq got into it, pushed through it. Like he never let what anybody else thought about him stop him from being who he wanted to be. He always had the job to be the best player ever. So, and I know in his head, he probably thought he was better than MJ, but at the end of the day, it, when he was done playing basketball, he kept that mentality, I'm gonna be the best at whatever it is that I do. So, with that said, I just wanna say, rest in peace, Kobe Green, Kobe Bean Rod. Thank you for everything that you've ever done. And um, my condolences to your family. Um, rest in peace, Gigi. You was on the way. I, I used to have my son in here watching uh, highlights of even your daughter on uh, on YouTube. And I and it's crazy because we, we just did a song. And he and he said he, he says a song. He says a line. He says, um, "Long hair don't care, young boy like Kobe, like Kobe White, Mimi." And then I say. The goat to the coach. Now I feel like I'm Kobe, and it's crazy. Like, like we literally did this song, 
we not finished with the song, but we literally, literally started the song last week and for us to say that line and then on Sunday morning, he died, it's, it's crazy. But like I said, rest in paradise, man. Tell Mike I said what's up. Legacy lives on.